Yesterday, we actually put down a bunch of the poly and did a bunch of the taping. See, this is the start of our whole house, right? So if we fail here, the whole house is gonna fail. These are our water pipes for our outdoor shower unit, which is actually gonna be sitting out here. We have an, about an inch and a quarter plastic sleeve that comes up, which actually then we foamed, caulked, and then we taped it, and then we re-taped it again with a tuck tape to create our seal with our poly. Once you do a blow door test, then we do these later on, right? Once the framing's up and everything's like that, uh, windows are in. If, even the smallest little pinhole, right? Could mean a lot of air leakage, right? You don't really notice the difference. I didn't notice until I actually did. Like previous houses, we do this too, even though not even classified certified homes. We do it for all of our houses. Um, but you can really notice, you can barely, you can go around and you can actually put your hands on the walls and you can feel like you can just almost hear it coming through. And it can be just like a pinhole, right? You never, never see it, but it could be there. So that's why okay, so we're taking so much time and making sure everything's taped, cocked really well. Today we're doing a blower fan test for a passive house. We're doing a big construction test to see if we're going to be able to hit our passive house end goal of 0.6 ACH. What we do is use the blower fan for pressurization or depressurization. The manometer is the tool that we use to sense flows from the unit itself as well as to sense pressures. Uh, the 0.6 ACH metric, 0.6 air changes per hour, is based on negative 50 pascals or positive 50 pascals being introduced uh, within the unit. So what we really want to do is be able to sense that accurately and be able to sense the amount of air coming through here accurately. So the reason we use this um, is there's a lot of steam-based guns out on the market now. Um, but steam has its own weight and it, it's hot, it'll want to rise. So when it comes down to it, this is chemical, but when you blow it, it does nothing but follow the actual air path in the air, which in and of itself is pretty amazing and very effective. All right, that's all we can give her. We'll wait a few minutes and pressurize. See what she does. So out of the mid-construction blower door test, we found uh, that the air barrier system has actually been implemented quite successfully. The windows, especially these sliders, is where we found some of our problems. Uh, a lot of smoke is coming out of the seals between each sliding unit. So with that, that kind of goes back to more so manufacturer. 
um, and not so much installation. The target is 0.6 ACH. Right now we're at 0.5, even on pressurization we were looking a little bit better. We've taped up a few of the weep holes. I'd give this house right now with uh, a few of the changes we made, probably around a 0 0.47, 0 0.48. Overall, um, we're in a good place and come final I only expect it to get better. My name is Emma Conway, I work with E3 Eco Group and we're here today to do the final blower door test at the Radcliffe Passive House. First we're going to do a depressurization test followed by a pressurization test and then we're going to use the average of the two for the Passive House air tightness. The numbers that we're going to take today are going to tell us how airtight the home is. The Passive House standard is 0.6 air changes per hour and we're hoping to get better than that today. So we were aiming for 0.6 air changes, which is the pass post standard. The results of our depressurization was 0.34, while the results of our pressurization was 0.32 air changes. So that's great news, that means we're almost half, half under what we're supposed to be. Yeah, excellent, congratulations. Okay, thanks so much.